Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 98. I just thought I'd kind of throw this together because I was excited that I got this working. So I'm using my <laughs> cell phone to record this, so I don't know how good the video will be. But we're going to give it a try anyway. Anyway, what you see here is my setup. My, this is my laptop, and I'm using an old TV for my monitor. And down here is a TV tuner that connects to your USB port. And that wire there goes up to a real small antenna. I don't know if you can see it. It's sitting on top of that silver box there. And some very inventive people have written software to turn this TV tuner into a general purpose receiver. And it can receive from about 30 megahertz to almost 2 gigahertz. You can use it as um, a shortwave radio. No, you can't really use shortwave radio because it doesn't do HF. You'd have to have an up converter to convert um, HF, meaning 3 megahertz to 28 megahertz, up to uh, something above 30 megahertz, so this tuner can uh, receive it. But it does um, VHF and UHF, and of course in the gigahertz range. So what I'm showing you today is something that I've been playing with for a while, and I finally got some information on the internet to get it working. And it's a piece of software, and there's lots of software for this little box here, this little USB port. It's free that can do all these things, act like a scanner, and in this case, it's acting as a receiver slash decoder for the data that comes from commercial aircraft. It's transmitted freely in the air, keep providing you information about the, um, the aircraft itself. And I don't know if it'll show up very well, but this is actually on the left-hand side is a plot of um, a map of the aircraft and where they're at, and it gives you information about the aircraft. On the other side here, on the right side, gives you details about each aircraft. Now, these aircraft are aircraft that are flying basically overhead and are being picked up by this little dongle receiver. And the software, which is totally amazing, is decoding this information. And all this, the software is free, the dongle is 20 bucks, all that, you know, and I provide you this for information. Now, granted, you can, there are websites that will do the same thing for you via the internet. So that information is available for the internet. But this is really cool to be able to receive the data directly down to this little dongle that like plugs into your USB port. I, I'm just totally amazed at what these people, you know, hobbyists, have done. It's just totally amazing. So I just thought I'd throw this little video up and show you what, what I'm doing. So see what you thought about it. Yeah, if you're interested in this, maybe I'll do a video that goes into a little more explanation of how it works. And of course, you can. There's several. There's many videos on the internet that will show you details of how this works and what it means and all this stuff. And the particular program that I'm using is called A B. Excuse me, A D Dog S B Scope. There are, there are about four programs that I know of that will do the same function using uh, these dongles uh, as far as plotting these aircraft and uh, where they're at and altitude and all this good stuff about the aircraft. And it even gives you information about um, 
what type of aircraft it is, you know, whose aircraft it is, is it national, American Airlines, whatever. Like I say, it's altitude, and sometimes it'll show, I don't know if you can see it, that there's one aircraft down there on the bottom that it's tracking, and it shows Latin long on the screen over here, besides the uh, map display showing physically where the aircraft is. And I did a quick check of um, this map versus one of the maps on the Internet, and they're right on. And like I say, I'm receiving this data directly from the aircraft. Now, this data comes in on a frequency, and there's another program. See if I can bring it up. It's another program that is actually controlling the receiver, which is right here. This program is actually controlling the receiver. It has tuned the receiver to 1.090 gigahertz, or 1,090 megahertz, and this is the raw data that that receiver is picking up, and then this program is decoding that raw data. So that's how this works. So you run this program first, you get it running, and then it talks to this program and provides that raw data, which is then decoded to put, put the aircraft on the maps. There is a message for you. So I am just totally amazed. I hope this video comes out. Um, I guess if you're interested, I'll do some more videos on this subject. But like I say, the other thing is, is this receiver can be used as a scanner. And there are many programs out there, free programs again, that will control um, that dongle, just like this one here is controlling you, like this one is controlling it. Oops, this one. Um, to use it like a scanner, you know, you can put in frequencies, you can tell it to scan, it gives you a, uh, a spectrum display as it's scanning. Scanning, pretty cool. All for the low price of a $20 dongle and free software. So, anyway, that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.